creating warehouse shipment could be done as a push strategy or as a pull strategy. Let me show you this by examples. I've made three sales orders, one of them here for my Bikemeister in Atlanta with quantity 11 and 12 and it's released but there's no shipment yet. So after creating the sales order and releasing the sales order, I could directly from my sales order from the action select create warehouse shipment. This is a push strategy and would normally be the sales person doing this or somebody who actually enters the sales order who's doing this. You need to do this from the sales order if it's a push strategy and you might not want your warehouse people to enter the sales order. Maybe they will do stuff on the sales order that they shouldn't. This is a push strategy. Let me just delete this warehouse shipment again and show you the pull strategy. A pull strategy would be to create the shipment manually. I'll just enter my warehouse shipment window and I'll just create a new warehouse shipment on the specific location code, of course. So this is a prepared warehouse shipment header. And from this, I could, in different ways, pull my source lines into the warehouse shipment. One of the ways would be to get source documents on the warehouse shipment. I could select sales orders, which to include maybe the first and the last one here. Or I could do it in several times and just press OK. And it will import the sales order lines into my sales shipment head or the, the warehouse request that it made into my warehouse shipment lines here. Let me just delete those to show you another example. I could also use the planning function use filter to get source documents. This is a tool where you can set up many different batches. We explain those in other videos. But we already set up a batch here and we could just press run and it would import whatever was in this filter in this scenario from all three sales orders, 33, 34, 35. I'll just delete those to show you what happened and how to change it from my process, filters. I could actually enter this standard that I have set up in my modify window on this all the filtering that it uses. So maybe I wanted to filter on shipment method code. So I only want to include sales orders that we ship free on board and I could run it from here or the other window. Now it creates only from two sales orders, 33 and 34. If we try again with other filters, let's try to process the same functionality, same window, but now instead of shipment method code, let's say set and shipping agent code. And likewise, you can filter on all the, all the fields in here to distinguish between which released sales orders you want to import. It's only taking in released sales orders. Now you can see it's two other sales orders. And likewise, you could just delete this again. You could add several filters, which would be normal in here. So you would add maybe a filter on both the shipping agent code and the shipment method code. And you will save all those different filters in, in different just a second. Oh, let me just, just go in again. You will save those filters in different setups here so you can run them easily out here. So now we only have one sales order, which is both free on board and for the specific shipping agent. So with the filter functionality that we will go into more detailed in other videos, you could set up step number one, step number two, etc., And you can define for each of those different filters that it's easy to run and thereby pull sales orders into sales shipments. This is a pull strategy.